हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियरिंग नेचर आई होप यू विल बी सेफ इन दिस पैंडामिक सिचुएशन सो फार वी हैड कवर्ड सिंगल फेज मल्टी फेज एंड स्प्रे सिमुलेशन ऑन दिस चैनल टुडे आई विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट यू द यूज ऑफ वॉल्यूम ऑफ फ्लूड मॉडल टू कैप्चर शार्प इंटरफेज ऑफ बबल जनरेशन ड्यूरिंग द कैविटेशन फिनोमिना to demonstrate this i am going to use similar geometry and mesh file which i had used in previous tutorial also you can go through that tutorial by link given in the description box so let's start once you import your geometry as well as mesh file in the fluent you start with general setup you just check your skill i am going to use millimeter scale for convenience you check your mesh we are going to use pressure based solver and in this tutorial we are considering transient simulation unsteady flow simulations to capture bubble motion during the cavitation now you should go to the model setting set the multi phase model previously i was demonstrated the mixture model use of mixture model this time we are going to focus on volume of fluid model which is the powerful tool to capture the sharp interface so uh, let's uh, enable this volume of fluid model during that volume of fluid model in the interface modeling options i am going to use sharp interface select on sharp interface and apply this model to this problem now in the phase tab i am considering diesel liquid as a primary phase and diesel vapor as a secondary phase now in the phase interaction you can enable the cavitation phenomena by clicking on heat and mass reaction you just activate the cavitation mechanism and in the cavitation mechanism you should set the vapor pressure value i am considering 2000 pascal vapor pressure value for diesel fluid close this window now let's go to the viscous model i am going to consider k omega sst model to capture the cavitations once you set the models you should define the materials for our case we are going to use diesel so you should define the property of diesel liquid and diesel vapor from fluent database now you should define the boundary conditions i am considering pressure inlet boundary conditions the value for inlet pressure i am considering as a 100 bar of diesel pressure you just put the 100 bar over here and at the outlet i am considering 30 bar outlet pressure you just put the 30 bar apply that once you set the boundary conditions you should go to the solution methods currently i am using a uh, volume of fluid model so coupled scheme is appropriate for that at the same time to capture the volume fraction you should use the geo reconstruction scheme once you set the mo once you set the methods in the control you should set the flow current number currently i am considering current number as a 2 you can also set all residual for your solution you set the residual you just initialize your problem i am choosing hybrid initializations once you do the hybrid initializations hybrid initialization will perform 10 iteration and show the residual value for each now uh, for sake of safety you you should write your case and data file at your desired folder
after initialization you can save your animation activity by go through the calculation activity in that select the solution animations in that solution animations our focus is to animate vapor fraction so you choose the vapor fraction so the vapor fraction contour initially there is no vapor formations so you choose this window you set desire window which you required to animate you can also set the number of files after which animation frame will saved once you do the once you complete the solution activity you just run the calculation since we we are going to perform transient analysis for transient simulation the time step size and maximum iteration per time step time step is very much important you should choose this delta t or time step as small as possible so currently i am considering 10 raised to minus 7 second for my particular case and for that delta t i will choose 20 maximum number of iteration 20 per time step so it's crucial it's depending on the problem complexity of problem you should choose this delta t and number of iteration per delta t then you should start the calculation activity by clicking on calculate so that calculation activity will show you the residual cows so it's took longer period of time to complete the solutions currently with this delta t uh, we are getting that residual up to 10 raised to minus 5 if we reduce the maximum iteration per time step then definitely you will have poor convergence almost 10 raised to minus 3 so to improve the conversion criteria you should always keep maximum number of iteration per time step that is one strategy so you just it is advisable to run your 20 iteration at least per time step which will give you better conversion phenomena so right now our iterations continuity equations will converge up to 10 to the minus 5 so it's worth for this tutorial so let's wait because there are huge circulation or negative pressure will form at the inlet of nozzle as well as outlet of this nozzle so which will responsible cause for generation of bubble or vapor formations so we are in the correct directions so let's continue the iterations and wait for complete the solutions almost 3000 equation 
just when I checked this residual curves the residual conversions of continuity equation will decrease up to 10 to minus 4 so in between you can improve this conversion by changing the delta t that is the time step core unit number also increasing gradually so that can also change by reducing this time step now I am considering time step as a 10 to minus 8 second and you just continue the calculations so you will observe that the core unit number as well as the residual continuity equations residual will decrease up to 10 to minus 5 so that is also another strategy to reduce your residual value and current number current number directly depending on the time step as well as grid size so this is how we are restricted our conversion criteria as well as current number will reach below one value unity currently our total flow time is almost 15 microsecond so let's continue <laughs> let me show you the velocity contour velocity magnitude after almost 4000 iterations so this red color spike will indicating the maximum center velocity the diesel fluid will come out at higher velocity from the center we can also see the pressure magnitude which will indicating the suction negative pressure at the vicinity of nozzle entrance and at the backstream downstream portion This large recirculation on the downstream will responsible for the suction zone, creating suction zone and second suction zone is due to recirculation near to this inlet of the nozzle. So these are the two spots where uh, we had observed the bubble formation. First and second. Since I had continued to solve this problem up to 5000 iterations, number of iterations and 30 microseconds of total flow time. After 30 microseconds, this is the animation which I had captured where it's clearly indicating the bubble formation which will propagate in the nozzle. Moving in the downstream directions where once the pressure will reach above saturation pressure, the bubble will collapse. So thank you very much for today. That's it. You can join this channel for more update on this ANSYS Fluent tutorial. Goodbye. Take care.